video on a spear today so I put on my little mask and did a little dance for you so we're gonna make in this cool spear with a rubber tip some bamboo and some grass and it should look cool for costumes or just hanging on the wall so should be a good tutorial Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing this uh, this spear. I don't want to give you a materials rundown of what kind of stuff we're doing here with the. So first of all, we're going to need some foam. Um, this is like that quarter inch closed cell foam. I got this from um, Big Lots. It actually was one of those mats that you like a garage mat that you stand on. So um, some foam. You know the usual stuff: pen and scissors, that kind of stuff. Um, I'm using a folder because I'm cutting out the shape of the spear on this so you can trace it. So any little light cardboard is, is better than paper. So if you can get a file folder or something like cardboard like that. Um, glue gun would be using some of this twine. You know, it's just like the regular packing twine or whatever that you get at the hardware store. That kind of stuff to wrap the top of it. Um, this bamboo trying to get an idea of how wide this is let's see here it's about an inch that's a it's an inch piece of but it always goes it always starts out narrower and gets deeper so the part we want to stick the tip on is about an inch wide so if you can find some bamboo about an inch wide that's good and it, it's just up to you how long you want it this is just a four foot piece I made some other ones that were like six feet because I wanted to put it on the wall so just any you can get this at the hardware store any bamboo that you can find at the hardware store and most importantly is the, this is one of those hula skirts you get at the party store. Um, I don't know specifically, you know, some of them are plastic and some of them are like real fiber, whatever this is made from. So if you can go to the, you know, we had those iParty or whatever stores, if you can go and find some of that stuff. It's, it's roughly about, I don't know, a foot and a half long. So that will work for the top part of the spear. And we're just going to cut that. So that's about it for materials, so we'll go on to the next section. Right. So the first part of this is um, designing your spearhead. So what you want to do, we're going to draw this out on a piece of cardboard. This is like the little file folder. So what you want to do is draw your center line first, zip, and then draw your uh, half of the spearhead. And you want to leave like a little bit at the bottom because it's going to end up looking like this. You, you want to leave a little at the bottom so you have it to attach to the top of the spear. Because if it's too pointy at the bottom, it's not going to work. It's not going to look right. Anyway, so you draw this half of the spear, and you cut it out, so you end up with this half. And then you go and you draw the other half of your spear. Just uh, take, the, take the piece that you cut out and just flip it over like that. And just draw the other shape. So you end up with the other half, which I know it's not even, but... Because I it's because I freehanded this side, so you you're gonna end up with a symmetrical spear like this. So you've drawn you've just taken this, taken that, flipped it over, draw the other half, so it's symmetrical. So everybody's got that. So then you're gonna transfer that over your foam. See, because you got this cardboard cut out, you transfer that over your foam. And what I did is I actually took a. Um, one of these, uh, what do they call these things? A grease pencil? And you could take chalk and do it too. And just went to a piece of foam and traced it out. And if you, do, you know, this is a white grease pencil, so it gives you, um, you can see that little line. All right, so you just go trace it out, pretty simple. Cut it out with a pair of scissors. And this is, um, this is quarter inch foam, which seems to be rigid enough to, to not make it, you know, it's not floppy or anything. All right, so you got that down. Okay, guys, I'm back after eating lunch. Had a nice sandwich for lunch because I got really hungry in between shooting and the, and the camera battery died too. So that was awesome. All right, so a quick word about cutting bamboo. You probably can't see this detail, but when you cut bamboo, it tends to splinter, and the little edges get all uh, splintery like that. In order to, to keep that from happening to a minimum, 
you got to use a saw with a really small teeth. If you use a big saw or if you take a um, like a radial saw and cut it, it's going to be all splintered and messed up. It's going to just be all rough on the edges and it doesn't look that good. You have to do a lot of sanding to get that right. If you don't want to do a lot of sanding, use a really small tooth blade, like something like this, and cut that. So we, what we got to do is you got to cut a piece out of this um, end like that. And you got to make a little slot, so we're going to slide the tip in like that. Slide it in. So what you do is, I just eyeballed this and put this right in the center here and just took a marker and as close to the center as you can get it right there and just take a sharpie and mark it and then I got this uh, um, one inch down so just take this and measure like this one inch and do the best you can to just get it straight it's not going to make a huge difference and just mark it one inch down and make a, a slot shaped like this on each side so you know where to saw down to so the arrow will go down like this, obviously, like that. So now we're going to go outside and we're going to cut this with a Dremel tool. I'm going to saw this piece out. Okay, guys, a quick word about safety. Please, for God's sakes, be safe. Yeah, that being said, let's get on with the rest of the project. <clears throat> All right, we got a piece here, and I just used some uh, spring clamps. It's always a good idea to put some clamps and clamp your piece to the table so it's not flying all over the place while you're trying to cut it, okay? Um, I'm using a Dremel tool with a little metal cutoff wheel which cuts anything pretty much. It'll, it might burn a little bit, but it'll be fine. All right, so you can cut this with a saw if you have like a jigsaw or something, something small. Um, it works fine, it's just a little bit extra work. So anyway, I'm gonna use this Dremel and I'm, we're just gonna cut down and um, right down to the line. All right, now we're done cutting. If you want to, you can just take a coarse file or whatever file. Just clean out the edges there. A little bit cleaner there. And you can take some sandpaper, and sand that edge if you want. Just clean the edges off there. And it should be good. It should slip right in there. All right, I've come back in after we made our cut and it pretty much fits perfect there because you cut on the lines and stuff. So you can see it almost holds itself in there. So we're going to want to glue that bad boy in now. So what I'm going to do is put a big blob of glue right in the middle because it, I think if you do on the outside, it's going to show up. So I thought it would be look a little bit better if you just put a big blob sort of toward the middle and then tuck that in like that and I'm hoping that will hold it and then just make sure it's straight on there straight as you can get it and then you could put some right on the inside right there like that and I that should probably hold so after that gets glued in there what you want to do is you want to give yourself a blob of glue and stick some stick your twine in there like that And then wait for that to dry. All right, you got your, um, you got the string started on here now. So what you want to do is, see, I, I glued this like a, a couple inches down so I could overlap over top of it. So when you, you'll cover up the glue. So you want to wind it up toward, a little bit toward the um, spearhead so it looks like it's holding in the spearhead. Because that's the whole idea with the, twine to make it look like it's holding the spearhead in and it sort of covers up a little bit. And then you can wind it back down. What oh, fell off the couch. Kind of wind it back down a little bit. And um, I just spin it like this. And you start off with about six, six feet of twine. Will be about, so it'll be about two inches long, roughly. Inch and a half, two inches is fine. So by the time you get in, you know, with, with something like this, it doesn't matter if it's perfect because it's supposed to make it look like, look like it was made by a native person. So we'll just fast forward to All the right, next so when part. You get done, when you get done um, 
When you get done wrapping this, then just put a little bead of glue on the end to glue down this little last piece and it should stay okay, there. Okay kids, good. we're almost done to... with this spear, believe it or not. So you've got this hula skirt thing that you that we got from the store and it usually comes in about, I don't know, like 40 inches, something like that, enough to, enough to wrap around you and then it's got these little ties to uh, tie together for the hula skirt thing. And this one is like whatever it's grasses it's made out of. It's a natural one. And I think the natural one look better than like you can buy those. The plastic ones don't look as good. So the first thing you do is I measured off about 10 inches. You can do 15 or whatever you want to do. But 10 inches seemed like it made it thick enough. So glue the ends because these little things will move. They'll come off. They'll slide off. So just glue the end of it right here. A little bit of glue. Wherever you cut it, it won't slide off the other end because it's got a knot. So I guess you could knot the other end, but anyway. So this is about 10 inches. So we're gonna start wrapping this. I'm just gonna, we're gonna just kind of test fit. So you can glue it right on the bottom of the, um, the twine there to cover up, or you could just go just below it. And we're gonna sort of wrap it around so it has a little bit of a stair step like this. And then we're just going to glue it to itself. So that's what you're going to have is that once we get this glue on. So you just put some glue on the, the beginning of it. And if, if you really want to be sure, you can do a wrap and then glue it. But I'm just going to glue the beginning and glue the end roughly. And hopefully that'll hold it, hold it on there. All right, so I wrapped this all around here. And I just glued the, the end of the little tie down to the, to the end. And, and that should be it. Um, all right, guys. So you got your spear all done. Looks pretty good, right? And you can go. Put your foot down, right? Right, right, right. Or not. So anyway, uh, if you got any comments or questions? Go ahead and leave a comment. Appreciate it. And I'll be back with another tutorial in maybe a week or two. Thanks.